Kwa hivyo nikirundi ya bio president muko na yeye kwa hiyo msimamu. Wangapi wanasema wako nyuma yake kwa hiyo msimamu. Na msue mnaptiwa baridi na watu. Muko nyumbani kwenu. Msue mnaptiwa baridi. Na sijui watu wa maumau walitoa baridi wapi. Sijini ni uko na heritage ya maumau. Hata barabara zile zinatengenezwa huyu sinaitwa maumau. Kwa sababu maumau ilikuwa inaishi huku. Najua watu wa maumau pia wakati mwingine ukimia tu na mpango yao wana kimia. Si ndio? Kelele inapigwa. Wanasikiliza tu. Wana mpango. <laughs> na bara ingine hata ile shilingi pia inasunguka huku. Kwa nini ipote? Kama kuna inashunguka si. <laughs> ipote ya nini? Sindio? Mimi naona muko sawasawa tuko sawasawa kwa hiyo direction tunaenda. Wanasema president ya sisungumse, asitaftie mtu kura, yeye ya kue neutral, kama nani? Kama nani yuli alikuwa neutral? President Kibaki alipokuwa anaritaya, si alisema mpigie uru kenyata kura na, na uyu mdogo waki, alikuwa neutral. Alisema hawa vijana wapate kura. Hakuwa neutral. President Moy. Alisema kenyata uru kenyata anatosha. Alikuwa neutral. Alikuwa neutral. Sijawahi kuona mahali dunia waya mtu ambaye kuna usuefu na akili na ambaye anataka watu wake waende pale pasuri anakuwa neutral. Hakuna sheria ya Kenya ama ya dunia yote inasema president asiseme pigieni huyu kura. Sijui, it's no way where president retiring or in office is gagged from giving his opinion. President Obama alikampenia Biden. Akaenda kwa marali akisema pigieni Biden kura. Kwa nini hakutuziwa? President Obama alikampenia hata Hillary Clinton kwa marali. Anasema msipigie Trump. Pigieni, I mean wakati huu sasa wa Biden, wa hata huu wakati huo. Hillary watu wako msikiza wakapigia huyo huyo Trump lakini akarudi akapika kakampinia Biden o Biden if you like akampinia huyo akashinda kura si ndio kwa hivyo president Uhuru Kenyatta hako na haki kama mkenya yule mwingine kusema pigieni huyu kura hajasema kwa nguvu amepeana maoni yake wale wanamsikiza watamsikiza wale hawataki msikiza hawatamsikiza demokrasia inaenda namna hiyo si ndio sasa mnataka akimye alafu tukiingia kwa shimo mumuulize kwa nini huku tuambia si mtamuuliza eh wewe ndio mudhamaki unaona mbali na huko na habari nyingi ambayo hatujui na wewe unaweza kujua kwa nini ukataa tukatumbuizwa kwa, kwa shimo hiyo ndiyo responsibility yako naye na ndiye anatoa ndiye anasema mimi na device nyinyi direction ni hii asemi ni kwa lazima <tos> Thank you very much. Ah, Pierre, 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 Pierre
kutulalisa na ukatupa pumzi ya leo baba wa biguni hi there wonderful people great people we are sharing a why we should invest in nanyuki we are also sharing why we should invest in the great oasis gardens and nanyuki reason number one location 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 this particular project is very interesting by the grace of god we got this project very near nanyuki cbd very near british army very near the Mount kenya holiday homes location actually we are just opposite the Mount kenya holiday homes location and to make the matters better even more exciting we are only four kilometers off the tarmac and to make the matters even more sweeter the government of kenya is building up nanyuki lumuruti road they are actually tarmacking and you can see that our property is right on tarmac and they say if you are looking for a property is about location 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 optiven is here for you and those who are going to invest as they listen to this particular video you never ever legal it god bless you that is reason number one see you next as i explain to you reason number two why you must invest why you should invest in the great oasis gardens nanyuki i love you god bless you call us on this number 0790 300 300 or check our website www.optiven.co.ke all come to our offices up plaza second floor we are there and coffee is waiting for you. God bless.